Welcome to PNY Electronics, the largest manufacturer of memory upgrades worldwide. PNY offers a complete line of memory upgrades for every major manufacturer of CPUs, workstations, laptops, and laser printers. Memory is a vital component of your hardware and operating system. Your programs are unable to function without it. Your new PNY memory upgrade will give you the power to operate your software programs at their optimum potential and exceed your current productivity. Remember, more memory gives you the power to excel. PNY, the memory leader worldwide, has produced this video to demonstrate how simple it is to upgrade your computer's memory. Now let's show you what memory is. Random access memory, or RAM, retains programs and data before it is saved onto permanent storage, such as a floppy disk or a hard drive. A SIM, or single inline memory module, is a series of RAM chips connected on a board for easier installation. A new SIM is what you'll be installing in your computer to upgrade its memory. Always save your document before exiting a program. You should also back up your hard drive before working inside the computer. Then shut down and turn off your computer. Also, turn off any peripherals connected to your computer, such as your printer. Be sure to unplug the power cord and disconnect all cables from your computer. Your PNY memory upgrade, as well as many components inside the computer, are sensitive to static electricity. So, remove any jewelry before you begin. Also, if you have one, put on a grounding strap. Installing memory into IBM type PCs. The only tool that you'll need for this installation is a screwdriver. To begin, unscrew the screws to your computer base. Then carefully but firmly remove the cover from the computer base. To prevent any damage, first ground yourself by touching the computer's chassis. Now locate the existing SIMs. You may need to remove the existing SIMs. Check your user's manual for more information. Remove the SIMs by gently and firmly opening the end locking tabs and pushing them outward. Now pull the SIMs out from the socket by pulling forward and lifting outward. Check your manual for placement of the SIMs. Unpack and remove the PNY upgrade modules. Notice that the SIMs have a notch at one end so that they can fit into the sockets only one way. Now you're ready to install your new SIMs. Using both hands, carefully insert the SIMs into the sockets. Do not attempt to lock them at this time. Check to make sure that each module is centered in the socket and that the connector pads on the module line up with the socket connector pins. Gently push the top of the module back. When inserted properly, the SIMs will snap right into place. Check your manual for any switches or jumpers that may need to be changed or modified. Now carefully reassemble your computer. Replace the cover and connect the cables and the power cord. Start up your computer and the memory will begin counting up. This will tell you how much memory you now have. Do not panic if your computer does not start up. Just go back over all your steps and make sure that the SIMs are firmly seated in their sockets. Remember to always ground yourself before working inside the computer. Congratulations! You have now successfully upgraded your computer's memory. Installing memory into Macintosh computers. Opening the Mac 2 CI and other similar types of Mac computers is simple. The only tool that you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver. All you have to do is remove the screw or screws in the back of the unit and carefully lift the tabs and pull to remove the cover. Then place the cover to the side. First, ground yourself by touching the computer's power supply. 
Now locate the existing SIMs. You may need to remove them. Check your manual for more information. Remove the existing SIMs by gently and firmly opening the end locking tabs by pushing them outward. Then pull the SIMs out by gently pulling forward and lifting outward from the socket. Check your manual for placement of SIMs. Unpack and remove the PNY upgrade module from its package. Notice that the SIM has a notch on one end so that it can be inserted in the socket only one way. Now you're ready to install your new SIMs. Using both hands, hold the SIMs at the top edges and carefully insert them into the sockets. Check to make sure that each module is centered in the socket and that the connector pads on the module line up with the socket connector pins. Gently push the top of the SIM back. When inserted properly, the SIM will snap right in. Now carefully reassemble your computer, replace the cover, and reconnect the cables and the power cord. To check your installation, start up your computer and click on the Apple icon. Then pull down to the Finder option. On System 7, pull down to the About the Mac option. This will tell you how much memory you now have. If your computer shows a sad Mac icon and chimes when started, do not panic. Just go back over all your steps and make sure that the sims are firmly seated. Remember to always ground yourself before working inside the computer. Congratulations! You have upgraded your computer memory and now have the power to excel. Instructions for opening the Mac Plus, Mac Classic, SE, SE30, and the new Performa 200. The only tools that you'll need for the Mac Classic are a long neck Torx screwdriver and a case splitter. If you have a Mac Plus or Mac SE, you will also need a small pair of wire cutters. To begin, release the cover by removing the screws at the top of the computer under the handle and two screws at the bottom and the back one at the left and one on the right. If you have the Mac Plus, there is a fifth screw located under the battery cover. Remove it also. Using your case splitters, carefully crack open the case at the top. Remove the cover from the computer and place it to the side. First, locate the existing SIMs. Depending on how many SIMs are already installed and how many you are adding, you may need to remove them. Check your manual. Remove them by opening the end locking tabs and lifting outward from the socket. Unpack and remove the PNY upgrade module from its package. Notice that the SIM has a notch on one end so that it can be inserted in the socket only one way. Using both hands, hold the SIMs at the top edges and carefully insert them into the sockets. Check to make sure that each module is centered in the socket and that the connector pads on the module line up with the socket connector pins. Gently push the top of the SIM back. When inserted properly, the SIM will snap right in. On the Mac Classic, you have to change the jumper when upgrading the computer's memory. On the Mac Plus and older SEs only, you may have to cut a resistor or change a jumper. Check your computer's manual for more information. Now carefully reassemble your computer. To check your installation, start up your computer and click on the Apple icon. Then pull down to the Finder option. On System 7, pull down to the About the Mac option. This will tell you how much memory you now have. If your computer shows a sad Mac icon and chimes when started, do not panic. Just go back over all your steps and make sure that the SIMs are firmly seated. Remember to always ground yourself before working inside the computer. Congratulations! 
you have upgraded your computer memory and now have the power to excel. Instructions for opening the PowerBook Macintoshes. The only tools that you'll need are Torx screwdrivers. First, you must remove the battery pack on the side. Then one screw in the back, if you have one, then the screws from the bottom of the unit. The top lifts off from the back, so go slow and be careful. Now remove the ribbon cable, connecting top and bottom halves. Set the top of the computer to the side. Locate the memory board socket. It is just to the left of the cable that connects the two halves. Carefully insert your memory board into the memory socket by pushing down firmly. Now to reassemble your computer. Carefully set the top over the base and reconnect the ribbon cable. Work slowly and gently. Once the ribbon is slid in properly, the case will snap right on. Turn the computer over and insert all screws. Then turn the computer back upright and replace the battery pack and other cables. To check your installation, start up your computer and click on the Apple icon. Then pull down to the Finder option. On System 7, pull down to the About the Mac option. This will tell you how much memory you now have. If your computer shows a sad Mac icon and chimes when started, do not panic. Just go back over all your steps and make sure that the sims are firmly seated. Remember to always ground yourself before working inside the computer. Congratulations. You have now upgraded your computer memory and have the power to excel.